I'd love to hear, Joe, from your perspective, what you think the long-term impact of 2020 is going to be in terms of the MS, the current MSP business model right now that we have in place. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's going to be more of what we've all been seeing in the last couple of years, right? If you think about it, in the early days of managed services, you had to be really good technically um, to be a managed service provider, right? Because the the, the automation tools and, and the various platforms required you to be very good technically. Nowadays, you can buy managed services from, you know, almost anybody for all intents and purposes. The, the basic managed services, right? The monitoring, the patching, they're easily available, you know, at a click of a button and a credit card swipe. So if you really are technical and you really add more value than just basic running some tools and delivering some reports, then you need to focus on that. Then you need to go beyond that, right? You you need you need organiza- organizations are going to be looking for more. They're going to want higher level thinking. They're going to want advanced analytics, like Sherman was saying before, and Brian and others were saying, right? They're going to want to find partners that can help them figure out ways to extract value from their business, whether it's dashboards, Power BI, mm-hmm. you know, Azure Analytics, there, there's a million different ways that customers are learning that they can get so much more out of their business and make their people more productive with a lot of these advanced tools. So if you can figure out a way to package what your people can do with what your customers need into some unique package, then you'll, you'll do very well and you'll be able to differentiate yourself much more easily. 